Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you want to see how I achieve this everyday soft glam look, keep watching. Guys, it's voiceover, y'all, and I'm just coming over here to tell you what's going on. So right now, I'm getting this spoolie and brushing out my eyebrows just to get that shape nice and right. Then I'm gonna go ahead with my Revlon eyebrow brush in the color chocolate brown and just fill in my eyebrows just a little bit, not too much, in the spaces where there might be some hair missing just to give that natural look. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be here the whole time. I'm gonna let you vibe out to the music and enjoy the video. Bye, I'm gonna pop in and out just to let you know what's going on. I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer to carve out my brows in the color 180 Fawn. I like to do this because it matches my skin tone just a little bit, but it is a little bit brighter, so it does highlight the brows, but also still gives it that natural look, so it looks like I more just went and got my eyebrows touched up and done. Then I sat here and carved them out and did all this stuff. <laughs> All right, and now I'm just gonna go ahead, of course, with my beauty blender and blend out the concealer going down into my eyelids just to go ahead and give me some of that color on top of my lids because for some reason my eyelids are a bit darker. I like to call it natural eyeshadow. But yeah, so, and I'm just fixing up the eyebrow. I'm gonna go in with my NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. I love it, it's very sticky, helps the product slide on and stick. So I just like to let it dry first before I do apply any other products. I'm gonna go in again with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and just conceal underneath my eyes before I put foundation, just to help kind of cover up my bags. You know, give that full coverage under eye look. My all right, then I'm going to go with my L'Oreal Paris 24 Infallible Glow Matte Foundation. Love, love, love to use this foundation, especially for soft glam or natural looks because it just blends in so well and gives skin. It does have light to medium coverage, so if you do want a fuller coverage, you're going to have to apply just a little bit more, but the coverage is so good and a little bit does go a long way. What you about this find is you could get it at Walmart, okay? At your local Walmart. And then here's a little beauty tip trick I learned. I love to put setting powder in between my steps. So after I put the foundation on, I just like to go ahead and set my face completely just to help the makeup from transferring and sliding throughout the day. Then on top of that, I like to go in with some setting spray to set it once again, okay? So I'm gonna use my Milani Make It Last setting spray. This setting spray, they do say it is good for 16 hours. So listen, you got 16 hour wear, 24 hour wear. That's like a day and some change, okay? You gonna have your makeup on forever. What, a forever beat. So now I'm just going in with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush and just blending off all the powder, everything. Then I'm going in with a little bit more foundation on just certain places I wanted more coverage and just blending that out once again. And with my holy grail brush, the NYX Ultimate Blending Brush. Okay guys, I love, love, love this brush. It blends every product in smoothly, okay? And that's what helps me achieve the skin look. Blending in after you use a beauty blender, then go to a brush, will really help blend that in and give skin. As you've seen, I went ahead and set my face one more time with the setting spray, like I said, setting in between every step. And with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade 176, which is a bit lighter, to highlight my face. Me personally, I like to do a cute little heart, just because she's real cute, okay? And that gives a nice little shine in the middle of your forehead like you like when you're highlighting. Then I'm going ahead and doing a bright under eye, because I like to do that. And it does just blend a little bit more flawless in with the soft glam look. 
to stay on theme with the LA girl, okay? I'm going in with my LA girl Keep It Real eyeshadow palette. And I'm going for that natural tan brown shade that you've seen. And I just put a little bit on the lid to kind of, like I said, brighten up my eyelid since I do have that quote unquote natural eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara, okay? The Maybelline Last Sensation. No, mascara, I think that's what it's called. I love this mascara, I've been using it since high school. It has never failed me. Wondering why I'm making all them faces and stuff. My aunt had to use the bathroom, so we came in and we started talking and Kiki he ended up. We were talking about loving hip hop, Erica Mena and Safari, all that tea. What you guys think? Do you think Safari is wrong for getting his new girlfriend's babies twin Rolexes, but Erica Mena claims that her own kids that she has with Safari, they were married. She, her kids only get balloons in the corner of the living room. Happy birthday. Who <laughs> think Safari is wrong for getting the, his girlfriend's kids Rolexes and not his ex-wife's kids, well, his kids as well, but, and his kids Rolexes themselves. Back to the main topic at hand, the soft glam look, okay? So then I went ahead with some setting powder and blended out the highlighted spots just to kind of help it stick where I want it and not move too much. Because now I'm going in with my contour and I will show you guys the contour that I use in a second. I put it late, so it's gonna show up in a second. But I'm just contouring my cheeks and my nose and that's the reason why I like to use a setting powder when I blend out the concealer so that it doesn't move and it stays where I want it to. So then when I go ahead and contour, it's not giving that muddy mixed together look. And I'll blend, 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 blend. And talk some more about the situation and I'm highlighting my nose. <laughs> All right, and now I'm gonna go back in with my air spun setting powder and set my highlighted areas just one more time. So, you know, we're gonna have that matte look for the day. She's not going nowhere. The contour that I was telling you guys about, it's really a powder foundation, but I got it a few shades darker than me, and I love, love, love it. I love using a powder foundation as a contour instead of regular contour. It just comes off more pigmented and everything. Just showing you guys my lashes. I did get those lashes off of Amazon. I'll have the link in the description box below. Love, love, love those lashes. Or sometimes I do like to go with the Ardell Wispies for a more natural, everyday look as well. But today, I did want more fuller lash, dramatic kind of look trick of the trade that I learned I like to hold my mirror downwards where I'm looking down and then put on the lash because then I can see my lash line and see underneath it to make sure everything is matched up perfectly and this trick has helped my lash time go down tremendously and helped me put them on perfectly I also like to attach by the middle then attach the ends that is when you put your lash on make sure that middle part is really attached to the lash line then go ahead and work on your ends and your inner corner just going back in with that blending powder brush and blending off the setting powder. After that, I like to go in with a powder foundation more close to my color. This one is 180. It's that same brand, Found. And I like to do this just to add a little bit more color back into my skin after having the setting powder on there. And this does give a more flawless finish. And I just want to I'm going on my Shauna B blush. Love, love, love this brush. Have used this blush brand since high school, and I don't plan on switching just yet until I find anything else. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild highlighter. I actually don't really like that many products by Wet n Wild, but this highlighter, trust it. Love it. Have used it for years. I like to put white concealer, white highlighter, or just a lot of highlighter on the bridge of my nose because it gives more of that doll look. I'm just going in with some Vaseline so the lips don't be chapped underneath that lipstick and lip liner, okay? I'm going to go with my Holy Grail lip liner, the NYX Moonwalk Brown Lip Liner. I love, love, love NYX lip liners, no matter if it's brown, red, pink, I love them. They're so pigmented, they last long, everything, they just give, okay? Now I'm going to go in with my Milani lipstick in a more nude color because I like this. It gives that contrast between light and dark and it's also natural at the same time. 
tell I'm really a Milani NYX kind of girl, okay? <laughs> With this little sheer shimmer lip gloss I got from Forever 21 one day on the quick little fly tip, okay? I love it. It's cute. She do the trick. My little dollar hair store lip gloss, okay? Because she keep the lips popping. Then we're going to go in with the NYX, yes, NYX again, eyeliner pencil for my little mole. Think about it. Your girl loves a little mole to the natural look, okay? Showing you guys the look in natural sunlight now. Featuring my little cousin, he wanted to be in the video. All right, guys, and I came out here just so you guys could see it in the natural sunlight just one more time. I love it, love it, love it. This is my everyday soft glam look. So if you like this video and wanna see some more like it, don't forget to like the video, of course, and comment down below what's your favorite products to use, what you like to use, all those things. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you wanna see more videos like this, like the video, of course, comment what videos you wanna see, even if it's not makeup videos. What videos do you guys wanna see?